Nightmare on Elm Street 2 is about relationships, perspectives, and stereotypes that all get smashed once Freddy Krueger gets his claws in them. <laughs> what we did is utilize the truth between Mark Patton, Jesse Walsh, and I, Robert Rustler, Ron Grady, and we utilized our own truths and we put it in the circumstances of the film. I didn't have a judgment about sexuality. And that's what I loved about Grady and Jesse. There was no ulterior motive there. There was a sexual tension between them. I don't know why it wasn't a timeless guy's bastard Shut up, Grady. But it depends who's looking. See you around, buddy. We were playing with this idea that Freddy was exploiting the subconscious of Mark's character, Jesse, and was maybe opening the closet door. And we had Boku, hints of Freddy manipulating the boy's sexuality, prompted both by the original screenplay, the staging, the casting, and by sets, whole sequences. No one said we're making a gay horror film, but we were toying with that. Not nailing it down rigidly, but certainly exploring it. <laughs> 